something they give them 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 something they To be stressed out Kareem, tell them what it's all about Cycles of life is all around For cycles of life is all around Cycles of life is all around All around I know, no, no I'm just keeping it real now Give them something they feel now What's up, family? This is Irvis Kareem again, and I'm going to talk to you about one of my actual favorite topics, and I should have actually talked about this a long time ago. I just, you know, I just, I guess, slipped on a banana peel and assumed that you guys already, because I talk about it so much, you, you, you understood how to just pretty much keep it clean. But um, a lot of people don't truly understand, and I should, I should, uh, realize that being in this system right here we we we've been raised to believe one thing and do another they ain't told us nothing i know the title was talking about actually coding claims but you know how kareem is i'm gonna give you the why and the back it back in history and whatnot so you're gonna get to the information and those that find it early go ahead skip past that and actually give it to them but I, i'm i'm, I'm i want to help you understand that you know we live in an actual society of that's just just environment that's just heavily populated with toxins, heavily populated with toxins. So you're getting toxins from air, you're getting it from food, you're getting it from actually um, in your home, you're getting it from what you are, uh, the water. I mean, you're getting it from like the brushing your teeth. I mean, you're getting toxins from everywhere, chemicals that you put in your hair and, and whatever that you put on your, your skin. It's everywhere. So the environment itself is almost a, pretty much a cesspool. So when it's like that, you got to go overly to protect yourself. You're even getting toxins from vaccines and medication. That's heavily toxic. So your body don't like that, man. It don't like it. It really don't like it. And the main thing that it actually hurts the most and that tries to keep the engine running the most, and I've said it before, is your large intestines, your heart, and your brain. Those are the actual big dogs to me, the big dogs right there. Everything else, you know what I mean, falls in line and they take orders and they got to do and they get their nutrients. and they, I mean, they could take you out, but the actual core of where all of these crazy diseases that they come up out of nowhere come from the actual large intestines, okay, from your digestive tract. So when you're dealing with it and your colon, the same thing. So when you're dealing with this with um, these made up names and you're not focused on your actual colon, your digestive tract, what that you what, what do you think gonna happen? You're gonna come out come out come down with a made up disease that they be coming up with. See this is what's crazy to me. We'll sit up and actually go out of our way, you know, to uh, get in line quickly to sign up for some health insurance. When Mother Nature's right out there for you. You got so many people out there powdering up Mother Nature's uh, foods for you, grinding them up, putting them powder for them, making extracts, tinctures. You got to doing it in a dry form. You know, um, there's so many of them not adding no preservative, no no actual uh, uh, GMOs or no chemicals to them. But yet still, you want to actually research what's in Mother Nature's powder form, the holistic and actual the uh, the natural natural group of people that's actually trying to save your life. You want to research them, but you don't want to research the dude in the white coat that's giving you a bunch of colorful skittles like the rainbow. <laughs> it, it's crazy. It's crazy. So you'll get in line. You'll get in line to make sure you can have the best insurance. And you check in your job what kind of insurance you're getting. What is a PPO, HMO? I mean, I mean hold, on, hold on, if I quit, I mean, do I at least still get COBRA? You guys are desperate to make sure that you get something prescribed from you from a guy, 
a dude, a man. I'm not prescribing you nothing. I'm educating you. When is the last time a doctor took some time to really go in, in person, with your medical card and sit down with you and educate you? He can't. He ain't got the time. He's like, I ain't got the time. But one thing about it is, he don't go out his way giving you snippets. I don't see him having no website, the doctors, be making sure that you who you got insurance with, you can pull him up on a page, on their hospital page or their clinic, and you can watch all his videos on every chemical that he's giving you, every drug that he's putting in your body, every one that he's prescribing to. You can't watch them things right there. Oh, maybe it's illegal in their medical facility to tell you the details of the dope that they're giving you or whatnot, the prescribed legal dope that they're giving you. Your body don't like it, man. So when you put all the types of foods in your body, you breathe in the filthy air, you're drinking the nasty water and the actual colored drinks and it tastes so great, you're eating that heavy, filthy meat, what do you think is going to happen? It's going right from the mouth. The mouth does its job. You got mucus uh, membranes underneath the tongue. It does its job. It, it actually takes the food and like the, you know, rolls it into a certain kind of ball and boom, shoots down the esophagus. And then while it gets down, it goes through a whole process. But as soon as it hits that colon, that actually digestive tract, that's over 25 feet. How big is 25 feet? Okay, I'm 6'2". So let's just take the two off and put, say, six. Six feet is, and double that, that's 12 feet. Double that, that's 24 feet. Four me. Taller than four of me. So if you put, two, that's, that's the height of what's in your stomach. So, and, they, and some people as high as 30 feet. That's a lot wrapped up in your stomach. Okay, that's the core, the digestive tract. That's where all the magic happens. So when you put a bunch of filth in there and you got a toxic buildup and your body can only her handle a certain amount of toxic versus somebody else and you're just building toxic. It's toxic with all the combination of the filthy stuff that I mentioned that's the, in the filthy environment. You're in. What do you think is going to happen? If you ain't using a bathroom two, three times a day, it's going to build up and it's going to build up. It's going to build up. Sooner or later, you're going to come down with something that has to do with your liver. Something that's going to have to do with your, your lungs, your kidneys, your, your glances, your brain, your heart. You know, your, um, I mean, I can go on. Your kidney. I mean, I, I can go on and on. Something's going to happen with the blood. Something's going to happen. You're going to come down with something. And when they test you on your blood or your cells or you get a lump or a fibroid somewhere, your body's going to, they're going to come with some crazy test to make sure they can prescribe something for you, to you and for you. So your body going to go haywire. Why? Because the stomach, your uh, large intestines, your colon can only handle so much disrespect of filth and toxic. It can only handle so much. You know what I mean? Everybody's different, but it can only handle so much. And your body will let you know. So when that's just fermenting in your stomach, like I said before, and it's just filthy, sooner or later it starts eating away at your large intestines. And like I mentioned before, it starts creating little pinholes. And then you start getting what, what leaky gut slash all the filth starts spilling into your blood. That's nasty. Spilling in your blood. Spilling in your blood. And when that filth spills in your blood, what do you think going to happen? You're going to come down with something. I mean, all the neurotransmitters in your brain, the computer, is in your actual stomach, your large intestines as well, your digestive tract. It's in there too. So that's amazing. This actual, the, the actual colon, large intestines in the digestive tract speaks to the brain and the heart. They like a musical symphony. They need each other to make sure everything falls in line. And they banking on what the filth you eat and, and, how, and how you get down out here. That you, you, you going to come see them. They got one on every corner. That's money be made. Now, of course, I can get a little change from teaching you, but I get a thrill off teaching you how to fish versus giving you some fish. You get what I'm saying? I know you heard that metaphor before. So that's my thrill. So that's why I tell you to get your hypothecary together. So this one right here is what I actually had myself. I really don't provide a colon cleanse on my website. I pretty much put heavy hitters together that'll take care of 
your system, your body. But if the code and cleanse is pretty much on my side, I just don't have it in one bottle or two bottles. And I'm going to put one together later on down the line. But right now, if you had to have a code and cleanse, my, it would be my blood. It would be my, um, my actual blood cleanse to take care of your blood. Mucus X to actually get rid of that mucus and inflammation in your body. And also the Candida X to smash all the foul uh, worms and, and uh, the little Candida yeast all up in your body. Kill them buggers off. That's, that's, that's fermenting in your stomach and whatnot. You need to do a colon cleanse three times, well, three to four times a year. So I would do one every quarter. You know, really, yeah, pretty much every quarter or every season. Just take it like that. Every season, you should do a colon cleanse. You could either do it in the beginning of the season or you can do it at the end, the end of the season. But you need to cleanse your system. Since you're eating this garbage anyway, when's the last time you clean, cleanse your system? Matter of fact, every herbalist, have you ever noticed that every uh, herbalist or actual uh, a practitioner or holistic uh, practitioner, as soon as you come to them, the first thing they do is they cleanse you. You got to do a cleanse. Why is that? Because they know you filthy inside. They know it's right there is where the magic at. They get that in order, you good. I mean, your hormones won't even be balanced if your colon ain't right. If your large intestines ain't right. Your digestive tract is off out of whack. Your hormones will be off, women. So how are you going to secrete and actually detoxify your body? You can doodle it out. My bad. Defecate it out. <laughs> you don't like hearing that word. And urinate it out. Sweat it out. And you can actually, uh, what is it called? What's the other one? Sweat it out. And you can breathe it out. Oh, and there's another one for you women. You can actually on your, you know, your, your, your menstrual cycle and whatnot. Bam. It comes out that way. It's toxic. That stuff trying to get up out of there. And y'all be getting it out of there incorrectly too, man. Y'all be sometimes sticking stuff up in there that is straight up. You sticking toxins right back up in there while the toxins is trying to purify itself once a month out of your body. And you be creating, wonder why you come down with fibroids and other issues and miscarriages and actual cancer. And what? My bad, that's another video. I'll back up off of that. But y'all need to be careful in that area right there. Because, uh. That's a gentle area you need to take care of, you know, and whatnot. So, anyways, let's get to this right here. Because colon, can, uh, colon cleanse is very much necessary. Like I said, I'll put one on my site later, but I don't have one right now. So, so let me actually help you put a light one together. This one right here is dandelion. Dandelion root is just a beast all around. It takes care of the blood. It takes care of the heart. It takes care of the brain. It takes care of your actual liver, your pancreas, your lung. It takes care of everything. And your digestive tract. It's just a beast to have in your mix when you're trying to do an actual colon cleanse. So this right here ain't no precise measurement. But like I said, this put equal uh, portions of all of these right here. So right now, this is like a, a teaspoon all right here. Well, I'm gonna eye it. well, I'll just tell you. Just put like a, a tablespoon of each. And then capsule these bad boys up. You know, you can drink it as a tea, but it's probably going to be nasty. So if I was you... I would just use something like a, a capsule up, you know, unless you're going to make yourself a, a tincture. I already showed you how to make a tincture. You can go watch one of my videos if you want to go that route. But anyways, and this right here is licorice root. Licorice root actually um, reduces, it's like the same amount, reduces inflammation, okay? It also soothes your mu mucous membranes. It also actually, uh, what is it called? It's a mild diuretic. And it helps out what? The digestive tract. That's another one of the ones that helped out the digestive tract. So liquor, licorice root is a beast too. I, I picked these one right here because I wanted you guys to get, be able to get something and not be hunting down real far to, to where you're going to purchase your stuff and whatnot. You know what I mean? You know, I keep stuff like this on deck. That's why I have a lot. So I can actually have my medicine cabinet for my family. My hypothecary is right there. When people going through trouble in the family, I don't care where they live at. If they within, what, 5 to 10 mile radius and they can get through the cream, I'm sending them a little pack care package and with instructions of what to do. Okay? So, by the way, tip, I will be coming out with the actual uh, herbalist uh, uh, course for some of those ones that are actually trying to take this on the road and whatnot and assist other people. But it's, it takes a lot putting this together. So, uh, my time is limited, but it just I'll be having it together hopefully within the next three months. 
So anyways, this one right here is milk thistle. You know, milk thistle is a beast when it comes to the liver. <laughs> it comes to the cells on top of the liver. <laughs> you know what I'm This was, is the beast right now. So if you're going to any drama with liver issues, with most people are, milk thistle should be in your cabinet. But it also is an actual powerhouse when it comes to what is it called? The, the digestive tract as well. So it's just an all around you know, when it comes to uh, that major organ, the liver, and your digestive tract. That's why you should have this one or two. You know, it's a piece. You know, and I'm going to mention a few other um, herbs you should have as well. That I mean, you could have on, on deck if those that you don't want to mix it up or you can't find this one or whatever. This one right here is black walnut. Black walnut. Boom. Okay. Same amount. Black walnut. Now, black walnut, um, if you don't know, black walnut ain't no joke. When it comes to smashing candida, it's gonna kill them good bad boys up in there. Matter of fact, that uh, black walnut is so powerful, it's um, it's uh, more powerful than their, the normal ones that the doctors give you when they're trying to help you with fungus and whatnot and to get out of your your uh, gut and whatnot. They'll prescribe some little fake medicine and and and, and skittles, and then you just add toxins, toxics plus whatever little weak little stuff that they created for you that your body don't resonate with. Your body wants food, okay? These are actually spices and plants and food. It's food right here. So Mother Nature is put right here because you connected to Mother Nature to look out for you, to take care of you. So you just mix it on up and you capsule it up. I mean, man, y'all can make, you know, pounds of this. You can actually take and make yourself uh, put like a, uh, a half a cup of each or whatever you decide to use and turn around and just um, capsule them up. And you take something like what? I would take, once again, zero capsules. You're going to take anywhere between seven, five to seven, five to seven capsules a day for 30 days. Cleanse your system out. Matter of fact, you really can just do it for just two weeks. It don't take much, just two weeks. Less than two weeks, 10 days to two weeks, whatever you decide to do. Four, 10 days to 14 days, so not no 30 days. You can just do this for 10 to 14 days and you're good. Now, if you decide to use zero, zero capsules, you know, the vegan capsules and whatnot, vegetarian capsules, you can find them anywhere. Um, Amazon is easier. That's why I shop at what I want to get them bad boys. You're going to use something like three, three capsules for 10 to 14 days, okay? And you're going to uh, cleanse your actual colon out. Your colon, your large intestines will be happy. I mean, there's other things that actually like other herbs, like alfalfa is a beast when it comes to the colon. Ginger is a beast when it comes to the colon. You can add that to the powder, mix it if you want to use that. Um, yellow dock is a beast. Um, let me see if I can think of uh, uh, some other heavy hitters out there. I mean, there's it's so many. It's with peppermint. It's, it's ridiculous. Uh, uh, I mean, that's with, uh, you can just... <laughs> I mean, but I gave you what you needed and whatnot, but, but you know, you can actually look up some. This is not the all be all. They have colon cleansers out there, a liquid form. You know me, I just wanted to give you something real quick that you can take for yourself of those of you that didn't understand the colon. But they have teas, they have actually powders, they have capsules, they have uh, what is it called? The liquid that you, you can drink and do a cap coat. They have actually ones that you can like mix. Some people use Coca Cola with certain kinds of herbs and whatnot. And to me, it's kind of uh, mag with magnesium. To me, it's some uh, when the whole list is used old, man, they, they actually work. Like with the gall, gallbladder and small, uh, uh, what is it called? Small intestines uh, cleanse and whatnot. Well, along with your large intestines, it's, it, it's good, but, but you, you're going to be going through it. And you better be home because you're going to be, you know, you're going to be on that toilet. Uh, I mean, all the time. And you... <sighs> And some of them have you drinking like eight ounces to twelve ounces of olive oil. Been down there before, though that route before. So I just wanted to help you guys understand that you don't need to be waiting in line to go see a doctor. Okay, the doctor is not really having your best interest, no way. So why would you be waiting? In line? I don't see no free birds, no free lions, no free animals. No free, uh, what is called even kitty cats and whatnot. The ones out there in the wild ain't been captured in the zoo in little cages and whatnot, little shops. I don't see them waiting in line to get shot up. I don't see nobody saying, hey, woo, woo. it's time to go see bird doc. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what it, it's, it's got to come a time and a point that you got to actually start realizing they playing with you, okay, to line their pockets, all right? So, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm past 40, you know, and I don't, 
I'm not on, on no skittles, no medical drugs, none, nada, no issues at all. We're down there with the man downstairs. I don't be having headaches. I don't be having little pains, and I, I don't be messing with dairy. That I mean, that's I know how to actually sidestep the BS that's going on out there, and I keep my actual body clean, clean and whatnot, and cleanse. So, it's certain things you got to do out here to add to supplements to your body on a day-to-day -day basis because you out here in the wild. This is really truly the wild. Everybody trying to get paid off you, your body, and they want to extract energy from your intellectual property. That's why I teach about business all the time because I know that you don't have to be giving your energy and intellectual property to someone else. You're probably there right now. I know you don't want to be there, but when it comes to your body, Take care of your body first. Last time I heard, your body's your temple, you know? So if your body's your temple, don't you supposed to be looking out for your body? Don't you supposed to be really just actually taking care of your body? So start learning where your pancreas is at, where your liver is at, where your heart is at, where your lung is at, uh, wh what kind of glands they are, where the glands is in your throat, what it's called, where, how many glands you got in your brain, what they call, what they do. I mean... I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit you with the men. Your glances, women. Your glances down there. What? Know what they do? I mean, the arteries, the blood, the cells, the red cells. What do they do? You start. You gotta educate yourself on these things right here, and start really taking control of your body. Then everything else will fall in line, and you'll realize. Like I'm telling you, when you start eating right, you ain't doing the craziness out there, the cray cray stuff. You ain't doing it no more. And you literally, you, everything starts falling back in line because you're, you're correcting everything. You ain't having a leaky gut and, and coming down with all autoimmune diseases and actually grave diseases and all kinds of eczema and, uh, you know, coming down with actually uh, uh, hemorrhoids and all kinds of uh, uh, neural disease issues and actual sickle cell and actually, what is it called, uh, um, when people have uh, seizures and uh, different types of diseases pancreas disease, lung disease, cancer. I mean, you can go on and on about diseases. All of them start in the gut. Most of all of them start right there. Every disease you can think of, right there. So it goes back to what you're putting in your mouth and what you letting them shoot in your mouth, what pills you letting them give you, what actual uh, drugs you letting them give you, what you're drinking, you know what I'm saying? I know that stuff tastes good, man. Man, I know it tastes good. Been there, done that, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> but you, since you already eaten the filth, at least do your body a favor and cleanse it out at least once every 90, to 90 days. Is that too much to ask? Is that too much to ask? But anyways, this is your boy Kareem. And remember that Mother Nature is your gift to help the living. Try not to be stressed out Marine, tell them what it's all about